Okay, this one's on solving uh, absolute value equations. I'm going to start off remind you guys about um, absolute values. So evaluate that. This is called the absolute value of 3. Remember, absolute values are always positive. They always come out positive. So the absolute value of 3 is just 3. So if you saw the absolute value of negative 3, well, that's also 3, you guys. And I, I like saying absolute values are negative choppers. If they have a negative, then they take off the negative. So it's just, uh, it's always positive. So what if you had something like this? Solve each equation. Here's the first one. Absolute value of some unknown number, x, equals 3. Well, right up here, we just found out that the absolute value of 3 equals 3, and the absolute value of negative 3 also equals 3. So x could be 3 or negative 3. Okay, a, a shortcut for mathematics is we can say x equals, this says right here, plus or minus 3. So x equals plus or minus 3. Okay, so when you see something like this, uh, x just equals plus or minus 3. Okay, how about this one? Absolute value of x equals 7.8. Well, same thing. Uh, x equals plus or minus 7.8. Okay, here's a little harder one. Absolute value of x minus 3 equals 5. Well, you do the same thing. You make it equal to plus or minus 5, and then just solve uh, x minus 3 equals uh, plus 5, and, and solve x minus 3 equals negative 5. And actually, guys, that's an or statement. It should be x minus 3 equals 5, or x minus 3 equals negative 5. Okay, so here we go. Plus 3 plus 3, plus 3 plus 3, and over here I get x equals 8, and on the right I get x equals negative 2. So there's your two answers, x equals 8 or x equals negative 2. All right, let's try another one, you guys. Try this one. Okay, you're going to uh, th absolute value of 3x plus 2 equals 5. So you're going to make it equal to positive 5 and equal to negative 5. So 3x plus 2 equals 5 or 3x plus 2 equals negative 5. And just go ahead and solve each one, minus 2, minus 2, and on the other one, minus 2s. And then uh, on the left, I get 3x equals 3. On the right, be careful, you guys, negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7. Okay, was yesterday, it still is today. Uh, so divide by 3, you're going to divide by 3. On the left, we get over here, those cancel to 1. Over here, nothing cancels, so it just stays neg negative 7 thirds. Okay, that's your answer right there. All right, let's try another one. Uh, absolute value of 2x minus 3 equals 9. So we're going to make it equal to positive 9 and equal to negative 9. It's an absolute value, so it takes a, it, it's plus or minus 9. Okay, so now we're going to go plus 3 plus 3 on both equations. And um, uh, on the left, I get 2x equals 12. On the right, I get 2x equals negative 6. Be careful again, you guys, when you're adding negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6. And then divide by 2, and you get uh, x equals 6 or x equals negative 3. Okay, easy enough. All right, let's pick it up a little bit. Let's put uh, some other stuff with it. Okay, here I have three, and this is this is what there's no number in front of or anything in between. It's it's understood to be multiplied. So it says three times the absolute value of four x plus two minus seven equals eleven. Okay, just like solving equations, you do addition and subtraction first. You do um, uh, order of operations backwards. So here I'm going to get rid of this minus 7 first. I can't do that plus or minus stuff yet until I get all the absolute value all by itself. So we're going to add 7 to both sides, and I get 18 over there. Okay, now again, I can't make it plus or minus 18. I have to get rid of this 3 first, you guys. So it's 3 times the absolute value. So I'm going to divide both sides by that 3. Notice I've changed it to a red 3 right there because I'm dividing by that 3. And then uh, the 3's will cancel on the left, and 3 goes into 18 6 times. Now it's a problem we know how to solve. Now we can do the plus or minus action. So we can say 4x plus 2 equals 6, or 4x plus 2 equals negative 6. Then you get a minus 2 on both sides, and uh, be careful. Negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8, and then when you divide by 4, uh, you get x equals uh, 1, or x equals negative 2. Okay, let's try one more, you guys. Uh, 2 times the absolute value, m minus 5, and then plus 4 equals 2. Okay, so first we're going to subtract 4 on both sides, and you get the absolute value, of, or 2 times the absolute value of m minus 5 equals negative 2. You're going to divide both sides by that 2 right there, this 2 right here, this 2. Okay, and when you do that, it cancels out, and you have the absolute value equals negative 1. Well, right here, you guys, I can never have an absolute value equaling a negative number. So right here, it can never happen. I can never have an absolute value equal to a negative number. So your answer is no solution. I knew that back here, you guys, right right there. I knew I was going to get a no solution because I had it equaling a negative number right there. You can't have an absolute value equal to a negative number. Okay?